Hey everybody, Mariah here, day 11 of the 21 day yoga challenge. I welcome you to your mat and I thank you for choosing to practice yoga today. Let's go ahead and get started. So as you close the eyes, lengthen the crown of the head up towards the sky. And with the eyes closed, imagine the sky. See the sky, see the blue, blue sky, see the stars above, see the clouds, the sunshine and the moon. Let the head reach up towards the ceiling of the sky, towards the top of the sky. as the shoulders rest down away from the ears, softly tug the navel back towards the spine. Again, reaching the crown of the head up towards the cover, the cover of the sky, the opening of the sky, the protection of the sky. Soften the space between the eyes and the outer edges of your tongue. And as you start exactly where you are, begin mindfully breathing. Breathing with intention, with meaning, as you weave into the breath, this concept of starting exactly where you are, how you are with what you have. It's here and now that you begin to thread yourself into your practice, into the practice of yoga. It's here and now that you breathe mindfully with intention. It's here and now that you practice something new, something old. It's here and now that you practice being exactly as you are. Being exactly as you are, where you are, how you are, with what you have. Bring the palms together at your heart. Affirm an intention. Create an intention. What are the eyes open as you reach the fingertips up towards the cover, up towards the sky, up towards the ceiling, opening up your arms and taking the gaze down towards the floor, down towards the earth. Inhale, marvelous intention, rise up. Fingertips, raise up, lean back. Palms come together at your heart. Untying the legs, placing yourself in table pose as you reach the heart up towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Drop the ribs down towards the floor, towards the earth. Untuck the tail, creating space in your body. Back and forth between cat and cow. Dropping into cow and staying in cow pose. Tuck the toes and press back into downward facing dog. Step to the top of your mat. Inhale, root to rise. All the way up. Fingertips rise up towards the ceiling. Palms come together at the heart. Reach down for the earth, for the floor. Let the head hang. Soften the knees. Step the right foot back and lift for crescent pose. Reach up towards the sky, towards the ceiling. Bend that back knee. Reach the thumbs back, open up the front of the heart. Close the pose down as the hands come down to the floor, to the earth, and step the right foot forward. Root to rise, root the feet down into the earth, into the floor. Lift the feeling, lift the fingertips up towards the sky, towards the ceiling. 
hands come to the heart, fold forward, lead with the heart. Soften the knees, step the left foot back. Moving into crescent pose, reach up, stabilize yourself through the soles of your feet. Bend the back knee, reach the thumbs back towards the back of your mat. Hands come down to the ground, down to your mat, and step back into plank pose. Reach the heart up towards the sky, drop down, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breathe here, be here as you are with what you have. Extend the left leg back behind you, bring that left foot forward, rise warrior one. Warrior one, reach up towards the ceiling, towards the sky, bring that right hip point forward and the left hip point back. Body awareness, lengthen through the front leg, pivot the body and drop down into triangle pose. Gaze up towards the sky, towards the ceiling. Create space in your body wherever you are, however you are. Hands come down to your mat. Fold the heart, fold the belly over that front straight leg. Pyramid pose. And pivot the back foot. Round the back up towards the sky, towards the ceiling, and hop to switch. As you hop to switch, root the outer edge of the back foot down into the mat. Rise. Warrior one. Root to rise, root the soles of the feet down into your mat and lift the fingertips up high. Square the hips, this time bringing the left hip forward and the right hip back. Body awareness, lengthen through the front leg, drop down into triangle pose, gaze skyward. Hands come down to your mat as you fold the heart, the belly, towards the straight front leg. Breathe into the back of the leg, the hamstring. Tug that belly button back towards the navel, or towards the spine, rather, and pivot that back foot. This time, step back to plank pose. Drop down, chaturanga, upward facing dog. From upward facing dog, reach back, plank pose. Hop to the top of your mat, hop back, hop to the top, and hop back. Drop down, chaturanga, up dog, drop the knees, child's pose. Take a couple of breaths here, mindful breaths, to reunite you with the present moment. and tuck the chin, round the spine up towards the sky, drop the hip points down towards the floor, tuck the toes, press back, downward facing dog. Left leg extends back behind you, left foot forward, outer edge of the back foot hits the mat, rise, warrior two. Familiar pose, warrior two. Tuck the tail, draw the ribs back, the belly back. Lengthen through the front leg, familiar pose, triangle. Gaze up towards the sky. Reverse triangle, leave the legs exactly as they are. Windmill those arms back. And this time bend that front knee, windmill it down, intense side angle. Open up the hips by pressing the elbow into that front knee. Bring the hands down to the floor and walk your way to the opposite side. Arriving at the opposite side, rise into warrior. Two, familiar pose. Bend that front knee a lot. Take a breath. A really mindful, nourishing breath. Lengthen through the front leg and drop it down. Triangle pose. Tip down and gaze up. Root to rise. Legs stay exactly as they are. Windmill the arms back. Change the gaze. Take the gaze skyward. And now bend that front leg, intense side angle pose. As you drop it down, reach those left fingertips up towards the sky, towards the ceiling. And walk it through center, forward fold here, wide legs.
Walking now towards that left foot. Pivot the left foot. Pivot the right foot. Step back to plank. Drop down, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Soften the knees. Hop forward. Palms together. At your heart, malasana. And hop back. Get uncomfortable a bit, but comfortable with being uncomfortable. Hop forward and back. Hop forward and back. Drop down all the way onto your bellies. Untuck the toes. Press the hands into the mat. Rise. High cobra. Shoulders shimmy side to side. And dig those knees down into the earth, into the floor, into your mat, and sink back. Child's pose. Walk the hands towards your knees and gently press yourself up. Tuck those toes and step into standing pose. So root the soles of the feet down into your mat. Press the palms of the hands together at your heart and take a breath. Take a breath and close the eyes. Reunite yourself with your breath, with this present moment, this beautiful moment, this only moment. And as the rhythm of your heartbeat continues to shift shape, to shift its sound and its feel, inhale, fingertips to the sky, reach up and lead with the heart as you fold forward. Inhale, part way up. Exhale, all the way back down. Let the head hang. Soften the knees. You're on the long end of the mat here. Pop the legs wide and fold. Press the hands into your mat. Hop the feet back to center and root to rise. Root to rise. Palms together at your heart. Preparing for tree pose. So balancing first on the right leg. Bring the left heel to the right ankle. Shoulders drop down the back. Palms nestle together, bringing balance, bringing you back to center. Bring that left foot wherever you wish. Balancing in tree pose. Balancing exactly where you are, where you are, how you are, with what you have. Gently tug the navel back. Gaze point is strong, focus solid. Release that foot, baby steps to the next, root the left foot down into the mat, right heel to the left ankle, find a gaze point, gently tug the navel back as you're ready, coming into your balance phase, wherever it is you wish to place that foot, calm and poised and deeply powerful. Release that foot. Take a deep, deep inhale all the way up. And as you exhale, fold forward, lead with the heart. Soften the knees and joyfully hop the legs wide and drop down. Forward fold. And press yourself up and out. Walk the hands over towards the left foot. Step back to plank. Drop down, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, hugely open heart, and downward facing dog. Five full breaths here in downward facing dog. Come to the tips of the toes, drop the knees nice and wide and settle back into child's pose. Walk 
walk yourself up and make your way to Shavasana. As you settle down into Shavasana, clear your mind. Clear your mind of the clutter, of the noise. Clear your mind so that you can soften, so that you can open. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Gently bringing yourself up into seated, sitting however you wish, however you wish to sit this day, this practice. And as you soften the shoulders down the back, open up the front of your heart. Bring the palms of the hands together at your heart. Reaffirming your intention for your practice today. And as you Set this intention as you live with intention. Bring what you learn on the mat, off of the mat, into your daily life, into your relationships, into your workplace, into the way that you parent, into the way that you communicate. Bring your yoga practice with you every day in every way. Thank you for being exactly as you are. And thank you for practicing yoga here on day 11. Namaste.